Hello and welcome to the Embody Podcast. Today you're listening to an experiential by Bianca Hardin, who is a clinical psychologist. You can find Bianca's entire introductory episode at CandiceWu.com slash Bianca, B-I-A-N-K. Today's experiential is a NARM exercise. That's the Neuroaffective Relational Model, which is focused on connection. This exercise can facilitate a deep sense of settling and connection in the whole being. So feel free to find a comfortable place to be and jump into this experience with Bianca. Hello and welcome. You're listening to the Embody Podcast, a show about remembering and embodying your true nature, inner wisdom, embodied healing, and self-love. My name is Candace Wu, and I'm a holistic healing facilitator, intuitive coach, and artist sharing my personal journey of vulnerability, offering meditations and guided healing support, and having co-creative conversations with healers and wellness practitioners from all over the world. Hello, and thank you for joining me today for this NARM, the Neural Effective Relational Model Self-Inquiry Exercise based on Connection. During this exercise, I will be asking you to reflect on your experience, to engage in self-touch, and just to notice what's going on inside for you emotionally, physiologically, from a thought perspective, with non-judgmental curiosity. All of this is up to you, how much or how little you're wanting to engage in this exercise. This exercise will be focused on connection. If you're willing, I invite you to reflect on a time where you felt connected to yourself, connected to others, in a way that feels good to you. As you reflect on this personal and interpersonal connection, notice what happens inside. Notice your internal experience, your thoughts, your feelings, your level of presence with yourself. Remembering to notice with non-judgmental curiosity. And now I'd like to guide you through some self-touch as you notice your own sense of connection. If you feel comfortable and would like to, I invite you to touch your shoulders. You're welcome to do a self-hug crossing your arms across your body with touching your shoulders. Or you can touch them in any way that feels right for you. Feel free to gently squeeze your shoulders, squeeze them tight, or just softly place your hands on your shoulders. Noticing what's happening inside as you do this. I invite you to move your touch and attention down to your elbows, feeling into your elbows as you gently touch your elbows, moving your attention down to your wrists and hands, either gently or With more firmness, feel free to just connect with your wrists and with your hands. Again, inviting you to notice what's going on inside as you do this. Inviting you next to connect with your rib cage. Noticing what happens as you touch your ribs. Moving your hands down to your 
hips and pelvis area. Again, noticing what's happening for you as you engage in this self-inquiry and experiential exercise around connection. Moving your hands down to your knees, touching the front of your knees, the back of your knees. Again, reflecting on what's happening inside for you. Moving your attention down to your ankles, feeling the front of your ankles, the back of your ankles. Just noticing your own connection with yourself as you engage in this exercise. Noticing your breath. Taking your attention up to your neck area. Touching the front of your neck, the back of your neck with the amount of pressure that feels just right for you. And ending with putting one hand on the front of your forehead, one hand on the back of your head. Just gently noticing kind of that pressure on the front and the back of your head Noticing what happens inside as you connect with yourself in this way. And as we wrap up this exercise, just noticing the level of connection you have with yourself as you engage in this activity. Again, continuing to notice with non-judgmental curiosity. And just really ending with observations about your own level of connection to yourself and others. And how is this different than maybe it was five years ago, 10 years ago, or a year ago? Or even how is it similar or different than it was when you began this exercise? Feel free to continue checking in with yourself after this is done. I want to thank you for your time and attention today. Thank you so much for tuning into this experience with Bianca Hardin. You can, again, find her entire episode at CandiceWu.com slash Bianca. And you can also find other guests on the podcast offering their experiences, healing experientials, as well as meditations that can support you in your own healing, self-love, and presence. You can find all the episodes at CandiceWu.com slash podcast. See you next time on the Embody Podcast.